Yeah, hello, Bernard. Hi, Carsten. Hi, all. Uh, in this video, we are going to demonstrate uh, the driver and a possibly firmware install on a GUI-less uh, HCI node. Um, and Carsten, please go ahead. Uh, what are you going to show us? I will show you uh, how we do that on the GUI-less uh, console. So I will, uh, after logging into the system, we get this wonderful sconfig2. Many of you maybe know it from last, uh, uh, let's say it's it's there for 15 years now, and I will exit it. And uh, first I will copy the drivers from the stick, the USB stick. We we put the drivers on the USB stick to the system. And uh, they are RoboCopy. They are under D system. That's how I do it. Everybody has his different ways and uh, uh, mirror and um, how they name their um, uh, directories where you find your drivers and everything. Some have installed, some have system, some have temp. Yeah, and uh, now I copy everything over. So these are the newest drivers for our hardware. And there's also some firmware, but of course the systems are uh, having the actual firmware. So we don't have to do firmware updates. If we would have to do that, we would do it over the BIOS. Um, uh -huh. So now I have everything on the system. Uh -huh. I change into the directory. And right. here under firmware, let's have a look. Firmware and drivers, we have our AMD chipset right. drivers. We have a graphic card driver for the built-in graphic card. We have uh -huh. BIOS, but we will not install that. We have a PCI switch. We have the drivers for the one gigabit Intel network cards. Uh, uh -huh. We have uh, some support for the M2. Uh, NVMe, uh, if we would have two there for RAID and so on, then we have an NVIDIA uh, A2 card in this system. This is a grid driver for that. And then we have the Mellanox driver. And uh, we could go in a into every um, directory and install it. But I have a small PowerShell script here that will do the work. And um, hmm. unfortunately, driver installation is not so comfortable on a core installation. So which tool do we have to use to install some drivers if you have the inf files and so on? Werner, do you know? I know you know. Uh, you you, you, are, uh, you mean uh, the PNP util tool, right? Yes, it's there yeah. for ages, right? Yeah, it's uh, it's been quite there for for, for a while. So um, yeah, I'll, before we jump into the into PNP util and what you could do, uh, let me ask you some questions on this. Where did you get the drivers from, and which drivers are you choosing, and which ones wouldn't you wouldn't you choose? Yeah, so the drivers are supported by a website uh, by the vendor of or, or the OEM of the system, so not ASUS. Uh, it's mm -hmm. a Thomas Crenn uh, certified solution. So I download the drivers from the Thomas Crenn portal. And that's always the first choice. Uh, get the drivers from the OEM. Mm -hmm. Second choice would be, um, let me just click OK here. Uh, second choice would be to get the drivers from the hardware manufacturer. So, mm -hmm. for example, uh, we don't have special drivers for Mellanox. So I use the latest Mellanox driver package for the installation. And if you don't have drivers on the OEM page and don't have vendor drivers, then we go with the Microsoft drivers that are built in in the installation. Uh -huh. uh, with one exception, with one very important exception for Azure Stack HCI and Storage Spaces Direct, if you have NVMEs uh -huh. in your design for the NVMEs where we build our storage with, so not the OS NVMEs, the NVMEs uh -huh. for the storage part, you have to use a Microsoft driver. Don't install a driver from a vendor. Yeah. And there are some problems with that. Uh, for example, some NVMe, if, if you have to do a firmware update, uh -huh. they require the vendor drivers. But for in storage spaces direct and Azure Stack HCI implementation, you have to have the Microsoft driver. 
Yeah? Okay. So you, you install the vendor driver, you do the firmware update, and then you install the Microsoft driver again or throw, um, so kick off the vendor driver. So as you said, there are a lot of drivers in there. You have the chipset drivers, you have the network drivers, you have graphic card drivers that you, that you may want to use. Which ones would you say, if you would do an ordering from a priorities perspective, I mean, which ones would be the most important one? Um, or it, it could be all, or it, do you have a preference? Yeah, the most important ones are the network card drivers because with storage basis direct we have a, a storage system that uses the network very heavily to copy the extents to the other nodes uh, and uh, the network is the backbone of the whole system so if you have problems in your network and to be honest if there are problems in an installation it's usually uh um, in the network or 70 to 80 percent are in the network so the network has to be rock solid mm. so here we have to have the best driver support um, that is possible and i i saw in storage basis direct installations for example if they are based on windows server 2019 there is a melanox driver coming with the windows server 2019 installation it's from 2018 and mm. I saw installations at customers in 21 and 22 where this driver was still running and they had problems with that. Mm. So um, Mellanox is, um, Melan now it's NVIDIA because Mellanox was bought by NVIDIA. Mellanox is very good with the driver support and um, you should install the latest one and but then also the latest firmware because yeah. the drivers only work with two firmware versions yeah? right. and go to your oem and look what they have for you because some oems modify the firmware um, so that they can include it in their bmc so that you can see the cards there and update them and so on yeah? but uh, if uh, the oem doesn't have special drivers go to Mellanox and download them from there. So okay, we are so, done now. Yeah, so uh, last comment, and I think that's common sense for a lot of people out there, but I just want to mention it out now. Again, um, don't deviate, the, you know, the firmware should not be very old and running a latest driver. So they should, you know, be sort of, the, the, the time of the firmware um, and the time of the driver should should almost match right or they should be similar and yeah. not so far apart right okay so now you're restarting and rebooting that computer okay which is good so and you do have a partial script um, um, that is launching the individual installers and as we have seen uh, some of the installers have a little GUI, but I, I assume that you have, you know, modified the installing. So to say that you don't need to click a lot of around, you maybe. No, no, you... no. I, I, I was lazy. I just started oh, the, okay. ins the installation XE yeah. from the NVIDIA. The NVIDIA card has an XE. Melanox has right. an X XE executable, I would say. And of course, you can give it some options so that you don't see anything and don't have to choose anything. But I, right. I was too lazy for that. I, OK. So now we have this node ready, right, with all of the drivers. And we could maybe also use different tools like Windows Admin Center then later to have a look at the device manager of that one. One, right, so that we can see if there's still some drivers missing or not. However, one idea uh, could be to uh, use now in order not to do that one approach, you know, four times because we have four nodes. Uh, what you could do is, for example, you could now export the drivers that are installed on that node mm -hmm. um, to the USB drive using a tool which is called PNP Util. You mentioned it before. You could uh, you could export the drivers into a folder structure, and then on the other nodes, you could do then the import uh, of that drivers, and they should fit because you are running identical systems with the same hardware, right? Which may give you some benefit. You know, you don't need to go through GUIs. Uh, it will um, it will um, it will walk you through the drivers, and that you know might be a little bit uh, seamless. So, if you want to see the commands um, for doing that. Uh, Kostny, if you could switch my screen. Yes, uh, let me just show. <laughs> yeah, this is the inception <laughs> moment here. Okay, so that would be the commands. Let me. This is for the for the export 
on the system where you have the drivers uh, installed, right? And on the other nodes where you want to install them, you could, you know, put them on a USB drive on the drivers and then, you know, launch the in file, go also include all the subdirectories and do the install. And it should install the all of the drivers in a row uh, and it might save you some time. Okay, that's just uh, one way of how I do it. Okay. So in the next video, we will uh, go through the feature installation because we need some features on the system, uh, uh, roads and features to go on. So see you in the next video. See ya.